Hey guys, how you doing? Uh, we're just now leaving Caldwell, Idaho. And now we're headed to Pocatello, Idaho. And I just wanted to tell you that I live in Boise. My son, actually, he's starting off with us today and he's gonna drive the rest of the way to Arlington, Arlington National Cemetery with us. So it's gonna be a great journey. Okay, folks, if you look over there on the left, there's my son, Greg Clark. He rides with Disciples of Christ Motorcycle Ministry. Folks, now that uh, we've got a long way to go and uh, a lot of uh, freeway driving, let's just sit back and relax and uh, understand that this ride is for the soldiers, the ones that were killed in action, the ones that suffered from PTSD and succumbed to their hidden wounds. Hello, I'm Chris Christopherson. On November 8, 1965, the 173rd Airborne Brigade on Operation Hump, War Zone D in Vietnam, were ambushed by over 1,200 VC. 48 American soldiers lost their lives that day. Severely wounded and risking his own life, Lawrence Joel, a medic, was the first living black man since the Spanish-American War to receive the United States Medal of Honor for saving so many lives in the midst of battle that day. Our friend Niles Harris, retired 25 years United States Army, the guy who gave Big Kenny his top hat, was one of the wounded who lived. This song is his story. Caught in the action of kill or be killed, Greater love hath no man than to lay down his life for a friend. Thank you. 
7th of November Now he's 58 and his ponytail's gray But the battle still plays in his head He limps when he walks But he's strong when he talks About the shrapnel that left in his leg He puts on a gray suit over his airborne tattoo And he ties it on one time a year And remembers the fallen as he orders a tall one And swallows it down with his tears On the 8th of November the angels were crying As they carried his brothers away With the fire raining down and the hell all around There were few men left standing that day Saw the eagle fly through a clear blue sky 1965, the 8th of November Saw the eagle fly through a clear blue sky 1965 on the 8th of November, the angels were crying as they carried his brothers away. With the fire raining down and the hell all around, there were few men left standing that day. On the 8th of November, the angels were crying as they carried his brothers away. With the fire raining down and the hell all around,
You'll see the pictures of our home visits. And as you can tell, we just kind of come in, park, and take up the whole street. Uh, and that's exactly what it looks like. You'll see many more as we go along.